Hello there. In this video we will talk about the fascinating history of Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics is an American entertainment and media company which publishes superhero comic books, movies, and TV shows. It was founded by pulp magazine publisher Martin Goodman in 1939, with its first publication called Marvel Comics No. 1 in 1939. During the golden age of comics, Martin Goodman introduced many superhero characters, like Captain America, who first appeared in Captain America Comics No. 1 in 1941. By the end of the 1940s, superheroes fell out of fashion with comic book readers, and Goodman canceled the last of its superhero books. In 1951, Martin Goodman formed his own distribution company, and he also hired his own teenage relative Stanley Lieberman, who wrote comic books under the name Stan Lee. Marvel also wrote in other genres, like crime, romance, humor and horror. Marvel horror books gathered some unfavorable publicity in 1954, when the United States, U.S., Senate subcommittee held hearings to examine the supposed link between comic books and bad behavior in teenagers and children. This caused the decline of Marvel to the edge of collapse, but with the help of the artists Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko, Stan Lee was able to make superheroes with amazing superpowers, but also had believable human characteristics. In the early Silver Age of comics, Stan Lee released Fantastic Four as an experiment for this new depiction of superheroes. When it turned out to be successful, he followed it with the Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man. With the success of these superheroes, Marvel experienced a revival during the mid-1960s. During this time, many famous superheroes like the Mighty Thor, Iron Man, Doctor Strange and the X-Men were released. In 1968, the founder, Martin Goodman sold Marvel Comics and his other publishing company to the Perfect Film and Chemical Cooperation. It grouped these businesses in a subordinate company called Magazine Management and Company, with Goodman remaining as publisher. In 1967, artist Jim Steranko began to write and draw an anthology book appearing Nick Fury, called Strange Tales. In 1970, Stanley created a British superhero called Captain Britain to seize on the opportunity to market on a British audience. At first, it was only released in Britain, then it released in the US. In 1972, Goodman retired as publisher and was succeeded by Stan Lee. In the mid-1970s, Marvel was affected by the decrease in comic book sales, classic comics like Spider-Man were suffering distribution problems, with titles reporting little to no sales, even though that they were being resold at a later date. By the end of the 70s, Marvel's luck was changing in a good way, thanks to selling directly through comic book stores instead of selling through publishing companies, and sales started to improve again. In 1981, Marvel bought the De Petit, Ferlang Enterprises Animation Studio, from famed director Frizz Ferlang, and his business partner David H. De Petit. The animation company was renamed Marvel Productions and started producing animated TV shows, like Spider-Man and his amazing friends. In 1986, New World Entertainment bought Marvel, and within three years it sold Marvel to McAndrews and Forbes, which is owned by Ronald Perelman. Perelman took Marvel public on the New York Stock Exchange, and Marvel management closed the animation studio. In 1990, Marvel began selling collectible trading cards, these cards featured characters and events from the Marvel comics. In 1992, Marvel acquired Fleer Corporation, which is known for its trading cards, and soon afterwards created Marvel Studios, which is devoted to creating film and TV products. A Mun, named Avi Arad became the director of Marvel Studios in 1993, with production booming in 1998 after the success of the movie Blade. In 1994, Marvel bought the book distributor Heroes World and used it as its own personal distributor. In 2001, Marvel pulled out from the Comics Code Authority and started its own Marvel rating system for their own comics. Marvel also created a new line of comics that are intended for older audiences, and another line of comics called Marvel Age, which is developed for younger audiences. In 2007, Marvel started to publish digital comics online, and in 2009, the Walt Disney Company bought the parent company of Marvel Comics. In the 2010s, Marvel created a cinematic universe, which includes most of their superheroes from their comic books. In 2012, Marvel released The Avengers which grossed one and a half billion dollars. The success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as it became to be called, 
gave birth to a wave of television shows like The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Daredevil, and Jessica Jones. By 2020, Marvel created more than 20 movies and they all accumulated global box office of $22 trillion. We would like to thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe for more videos. Before we go, I would like to ask one thing, why was Thor avoiding Loki? I don't know, why was Thor avoiding Loki? It was because he owed in money.